must marry a luo. Luo no luos know how to take care of women. Even though I'm single. <laughs> I'm the one advising relationship but I felt terribly. <laughs> Madam boss. Hello, hello. Eh, eh, ah, ah. <laughs> This is how I wake up, man. Morning. Thank you. Previously on Up Close with a co there in Rongo, Migori County. You know, so when they see the infant, say, hey, there's the house girl. Then they go like, wapi mwenye nyumba. And I feel like, you don't know shit. And here now is a continuation of Up Close with Akode. You have your first vehicle. Yeah. How then did you start Akode Safaris? And then also the, plus the music. Yeah. Now singing and going to the studio. Yeah. So when I started um, as a taxi driver, um, I used to park next to uh, Bob's Tembo. Yeah. Definitely, I love music. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, people just love inviting me to parties. And then um, when I um, met the father of my first. Mm -hmm. Uh, son, uh, Oyo Ojuang. Yes. He's, he's nine years old now. Mm, the, the cute little the boy. The cute little boy, yeah. 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 I, I started going to safari as a tour guide. You know, some of my friends, you know, my brother was a tour guide also. So when he had uh, tours going on safaris, yeah. he would ask me to come. So I learned a few things. Oh, yeah. Then I got interested. And my car used to have a lot of breakdown because it was a second hand car. Mm -hmm. But I was still uh, enthusiastic. Like I was still had that dream that one day I'll make it. So I would definitely go around the bars and give. Uh, uh, yeah. people on my card and yeah. say I have a car so if they call me I actually call my friends and hire their cars <laughs> while mine is still at the garage yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just like that people hired my cars and I kept on saving money mm -hmm. then I opened a restaurant in Shanzu mm -hmm. called the stomp 196 mm -hmm. I used to cook fish I was an entertainer I would dance you see all those matatu drivers yeah, at Shanzu yeah, yeah. they all know me because mm -hmm. I would cook for them I would dance, dance for, them, for them sing for them <laughs> you know and also serve them I was yeah. the waitress yeah. the chef and the, and the entertainer so then uh, Papa Alphonse saw me. I'd gone to a club called uh, Casorina to give out my cards for the restaurant and the taxi. Mm -hmm. Then he saw me and we kept on seeing each other. Mm -hmm. So he kept on smiling and he's a handsome guy. I was like, why is this handsome guy smiling at me? Does he know I have so many children <laughs> and so many problems? <laughs> so he followed up with a card. He came to my restaurant each and every time. Mm -hmm. Then he invited me to Switzerland mm -hmm. and he stayed in, in love with me. Mm -hmm. We stayed together for two months and then he decided that we should have a child. Mm -hmm. After two months, I also made up he my decided. mind. Yeah, he asked me for a child. Mm -hmm. But because I was also, it was also getting a bit late. Yeah. And I was like, eh, I'm now 27, you know, it's getting, you know. Late it's, for what? I, I don't know what, why I was rushing to. <laughs> I was just thinking that now because, oh, I don't have a husband, yeah. you know, so I thought he was the one. Mm. Then we had the pregnancy. Okay, and then I came back to Kenya pregnant. We were so happy. Then after four months, when I came back, I was so sickly. My restaurant collapsed. Mm -hmm. The people I left them with, they didn't, take care, they didn't take care of it. That's why you see me hands on in each and every of my thing. Yeah, I don't trust anybody with my business. I don't trust them, not even with my dogs. Mm. So after four months, I contacted the guy. I told him I want to come and have the child in Europe. He told me no, no, oh. Esther, no, why? no. He has. I have no time for family, and I have no time for you. But and he had said he wanted a kid. Yes, and now he asked me to abort the child. Oh, wow. At four months, I could not. This was so heavy for yes. me. So he asked me what I want. I said, give me money, I go give birth. Yes, yes. So I came with this money. At the airport, I lied that the pregnancy was six months. Otherwise, they wouldn't allow me to fly. Yes. When I came back, I had constant headache, constant headache. Like, I would take all kinds of Panadol. Mm -hmm. So when I arrived in Mombasa, I said, I'm not going to spend this money because I do not know where the next money will not come mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. I'll use it as a capital to start up my business. And that was the beginning of Akode Safaris. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So you come <laughs> back, you have your baby, and then... I went shopping for where I could give birth. You know, now I have some money you in the pocket. Money. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> yourself a bit. Yeah, yeah, so I went to Mombasa Hospital. They were asking for 300000 And I said, for pushing this thing out? No, you can wait. I went to <laughs> Pandya. The doctor said between 150. Yeah, yeah. I said, for pushing this out, it's too expensive. So I went to Georgetown. They oh. said 12,000. I said, say that again. 12,000. Okay. Book me VIP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I now from that bed, yeah. that was the turning point in my life. Mm -hmm. That is when I got it done with, you know, succumbing to each and every comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so the day with Akode continues. We want to go to, um, where, where are we going to? We are going to Kokoro Secondary School mm -hmm. uh, because that's where one of the children that I am uh, I'm supporting yeah. is going to school. You are informed? 
from three. From three. Okay. So right now we are going to do some shopping. Uh -huh. You can see his uniform is done. Right. Done. Yeah. Right. And, uh, pay school fee uh -huh. so that he can be able to. Land, yeah. That's that's fantastic, yeah. and uh, we we have company. Yes, of course. This is yeah, serious this company. Is <laughs> <laughs> this is serious company. Yeah, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. so we go. Yeah. All right, great. Let's do this. Yeah. No, no. I need to get in some shopping. Zinga upe kwa situ zimie mama. Wakati ya fitina. Mina tamsu no jua. Amara, si tu Amara, non, non, non. Yeah. And you're crying. I know. Stop. You're gonna make me cry so much. But how does it make you feel going back there right now and seeing that and now where you are? The hustle, yeah. the journey. Yeah, it just brought back some I don't even know how I did it. Yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. the question. And yeah. They still used to celebrate me the same okay, not the same way, but mm. I was I a woman of the happen. people, as you can see. Yeah. Like they just loved me from yeah. Yeah. you know. And I remember how many times this woman gave me fish. Like when I couldn't afford, when I just gave birth to my daughter Dion, mm -hmm. then my parents in law kicked me out. Mm -hmm. And you know how you can become hungry after giving birth? Yeah, you know, you need food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember her lending me like fish, you know? Hey, that day I ate. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's the lady who you. The one I hugged the first yeah, time, the yeah. First time, yeah. yeah. Uh. And the second one, we used to be in the same church together. Uh -huh. And. Uh, 
when I was down, I used to, to talk to them, mm. you know. Mm. They would give me a shoulder yeah, to lean on, yeah, you know. Yeah. You can come here anytime and get my story. Like, yeah. I don't even need to come here. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, that, was, that was special. Yeah. <laughs> that was special. I, was, I lived here for 10 years. Yeah. So, I, mean, I remember that's... having gone to the market to sell. Um, my grandfather had a shop. So, he had some kahawa, so they, they, they were dead stock. I decided to offload them inside a basin, and I went selling on, this, on the streets, you know, like a shilling, mm. like shilingi moja moja, mm. you know. Mm. Wow. Yeah. It's, and I just given birth, you know, I was with milk all over, and I don't even know where I was getting the strength from because the child was only two weeks old. But you needed to. But I don't know if I should say it to my parents in law. Do you think I should? No. What do you feel like? I don't know their mood right now. Mm. Now, because with camera now, mm. I wouldn't. Mm. I'll come privately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amora, this is where I used to live. And that Kibanda was like, I had a shop like that. Yeah. This is where I a raised all my children, like yeah. That. And the streets going up, that's where I gave birth. I gave birth my second born on the streets because I didn't have money to go to the hospital early enough. <laughs> <laughs> so would you ever, because uh, when we were there, in the yeah. let's yeah. say in 2022, up there, would you mm. get into politics? No, 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 I can't, no, no, no politics, no, no, no politics for me, yeah, I love peace, mm. and I know, like, politics is too demanding, and uh, I don't have a heart for politics, mm. yeah, because also I can't lie, mm. yeah, I always keep my promise, yeah. yeah. That was, that was special. Yeah. Was so special. Uh, so I even my still en route to um a yeah, so school. To school. Yeah. Dropping school, mm -hmm. then shopping, everything's ready. Yeah. Um yeah. Oh, mama. Come on this side. Huh? Oh. That's my my relative. Yes. <laughs> and this year I'm gonna be out of the country for a long time. So I would like to get direct contact with school and I want to make sure that the boy stays in school constantly. Unless it is holidays for everyone. I would like to have the, like the, we call it what, the fee structure, yeah, for the whole year. And then I want to know the mode of payment, what balance I'm owing. I believe I don't have a balance, right? I'm a very good parent. Do you have balance? Which means we don't have a balance, you see? I'm a good parent. No, there's no balance. We've just begun. It's three days <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here to pay his school fee. And also know the person I can be, I can get in touch with, in case there is something. I want this boy to be in school. I want him to be my future president. Yeah. So. So, if there is any misbehavior, Malimu, kindly. Don't hesitate to call me. Feel free to call me and let me know. Exactly. He is my hope right now. Exactly. And I told him, if he misbehaves, I will come here. I will cane him myself. I will ask all the teachers to cane him also. And the, the students to cane him also. Because he is an orphan. His mother passed on. And his mother was a very good friend of mine. So, Kijana, you already know where you are coming from. And I believe you know where you are going to. And you know where you are right now. So like I always say, if you want to mess up your life, mess it very good. Don't do halfway. And if you want to make your life better, strive. Discipline equals success. 
Yeah. Nataka kuja kupata jina yako hapo please. So, 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 so the student who scored. Which one? This one. Where are the this ones? Yeah. Why can't can't I, I can't I come and find your name here? Sasa. So, so. Mm. So, so Mwalimu we are privileged to come and see you and we are also happy to find you and God bless you so much. Yeah, and when you need our advisors to help the children stop burning dormitories and things like that, maybe you can contact us because maybe we have solutions. You people have never contact, con contacted artists. Maybe you have solution to this stress. See, like right now, they formed a parade by themselves. The one you talked about. Yeah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm so happy. Happy to. Hi, this one. Oh, oh. I'm saying I'm so happy to be here um, this evening with you guys. Uh, you're broke. Who is broke? Who's broke? Who's broke? Alright. <laughs> he says he's broke. <laughs> okay. That's a, let her finish her speech. Yeah, so I'm happy to be here, you guys. Um, all I can say is that, you know, I want you guys to work hard, Vilem Naweza. And, uh, you know, if, if there's anyone here who wants to be a journalist, I would, of course, um, encourage you to do that. You know, go after your dreams. Let nobody tell you you can't do it, no matter where you come from. Believe in yourselves, because the moment you believe in yourselves, we will all be forced to believe in you. We don't have a choice. So it's all up to you. All right? Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Above all, it's all about you. You already know your origin. You know your destination. And you know that the ground supporting you is strong. Why do you fear? Whom do you have to fear? You fear because you are doing the wrong things. Do the right thing at the right time with the right people. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Molly.